Hey guys, JSQ here, and welcome to a video of me showing you what these boots are I am wearing. Now, you may have seen my previous video on the cloud boots, which made you jump super high, but these boots do not make you jump super high. Basically, what they are, they are called whirlwind boots. As you can see, whirlwind boots right there. And yeah, they basically make you sprint super fast, as you can see like this um, they actually reduce your fall damage a little but unlike the cloud boots they don't reduce all the fall damage so you probably want to be careful where you jump into so you probably will end up dying if you fall down a ravine with these but yeah you will not take damage from falls about say this high I don't know the amount well I don't know the exact height you'll take damage from but yeah you'll definitely be reduced from damage um, Basically, oh, it's going night. We don't like the night. Well, oh, there we go, the sun's up. That is a quick night. But uh, anyway, basically, you can sprint super fast. You can have reduced fall damage. And the one final thing, which I think is the best, is you can actually sprint on water. Ah, look at me. I'm sprinting on water. <laughs> This is so epic, but um, once you actually let go of the sprint button, once you've double tapped your uh, go, you'll actually end up falling, which is bad. And then uh, you can't actually get back sprinting on there. You actually need to be sprinting whilst on there. Um, basically, what else I'm going to do in this video is show you how to make these whirlwind boots. Now, they're kind of a bit harder to make. Um, considering the resources you need they're easy to actually craft it's just the make it well the finding of the materials part firstly you'll need to make a wind medallion which is as follows you'll need an arrow in the middle you'll need four golden nuggets which are around the side which you can get from putting gold ingots into the crafting interface to get the gold nuggets out um, I think you'll get eight out of there or nine I think I'm not sure one of them um, but yeah, once you've got that, you'll need brick, and then just put them in the remaining cross bit in the middle. And then once you have your wind medallion, put that in there. And then you'll need to actually make the boots. So to make the boots, you'll need your gold nuggets, which are at the top. This are, it's obviously in a boot formation, these. And then you'll need two pieces of wool there. And then you'll need your wind medallion there. Now, you may have noticed the actual boots haven't come up. That is because this wind medallion we have made needs to be charged as you can see it's got a charging bar on it so what you actually need to do is actually get hit by arrows to charge it which is kind of a kind of a crazy thing but um, I might have to armor up and uh, get hit by arrows first so I'm gonna have to change the game mode and then I'll come back when I'm armored up okay so now I'm armored up and made myself a nice little trap here I'm gonna have to change the uh, game mode to um, so what you actually need to do is once you've got the wind medallion in your inventory or wherever you just actually need to get hit by arrows so as you can see every time I'm hit by arrows it actually charges up my wind medallion so if you just keep on doing this till it is fully charged now it's actually fully charged the health well the charge bar on it has gone and now it looks like an enchanted wind medallion so once you've actually done that, I'm going to take this armor off now, um, you actually go into crafting interface and now you can actually create the whirlwind boots. So you put the gold ingots on top, the wool be high, well below them and then the wind medallion in the middle. So now you've actually created your whirlwind boots, so once you've got them you just pop them on. And now you can do everything I said at the start which was sprint super fast, you'll reduce your fall damage but it won't reduce all of it and yeah you can actually sprint on water woohoo now oh yeah in my opinion these are kind of better than the cloud boots um purely because they're, they're cool because you can run across water so nothing really stops you from uh oh i just jumped <laughs> nothing really stops you from uh getting anywhere like the ocean if you want to get to an island now um the cloud boots definitely are better for jumping up obstacles and reduce damage that is why i said in the previous video um, when I was showing you how to make the cloud boots um, I was actually saying I'd carry both of the whirlwind boots and the cloud boots in 
my inventory at the same time so I can get over obstacles and run across water and all the stuff like that. But um, yeah, uh, this has been JSQ. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. As I'm um, always happy with likes. You'll make me happy, guys, if you like it. Please like it. Please. But um, yeah, if you guys leave a like, that'll be brilliant. And also subscribe. I'm actually over 800 subscribers now, which is pretty damn good as my subscriber count is going up crazy with all these new Hexit videos. Um, so I'm guessing you guys like them a lot. And uh, yeah. Um, if you want to check out the previous video, which was how to make the cloud boots, the uh, link will be in the outro at the end. And yeah, thanks for watching. This has been JSQ. Peace.